Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Black Eyes with me, Empire Mega and Empire of Japan. So in the last episode we ended with a colossal battle with the Royal Navy and we have we've demolished the Royal Navy. Their battleships and carriers survived, but the rest of their fleet was badly hurt. You can see that they are left with something like 40, 45 destroyers right now. <laughs> they lost uh, some heavy cruisers and light cruisers and even one battleship. And the rest of their fleet is probably just heading back home limping after we have just obliterated them in uh, the Eastern Micronesia, which is part of our campaign to uh, take these islands. Um, I think it's because they are expecting us uh, to enable invasion into the Phoenix Island. And because of that, you know, they retreated the fleet. Might be, but you know, currently our uh, Marines are eliminating the four divisions in this area, the 229th Philadelphia Division, the 5th Marine Division, and the 159th Longhorn Division, which is a garrison one, and 246th Revenge Division, again a garrison one. So we'll finish those operations soon, and then um, send our Marines to take the Ellis Island. Is the El is it Ellis Island? Oh no, Phoenix Island. Ellis Island is in New York. I was wondering what's up with that. It's not even mentioned here. Those Solomon Islands are, which are over here. No, that's New Caledonia. This is Solomon Islands, which is beyond our reach. So we'll need to take that. But first, Papua and the Phoenix Island. So as we have taken this and this, I can now delete these two orders and I can already send you guys to plan a naval invasion from here to here. You'll move there and prepare or we'll continue fighting in here. Another major thing that happened is that we are trying to fight in these areas yet failing a bit uh, because I didn't pay much attention to what is happening, which is absolutely my fault, so I need to fix that. And before we do, I mean, let's install the military advisor in Macau. We have been working at this for quite some time now and for some reason this one is just not gonna happen so uh, Portugal has declared neutrality in the war and they are continuing to trade with our allies however British presence in the area has led us to insist on a permanent presence and the recognition of our claims to China so they will give us military access we improve trade relations and we get rights to resources in Macau so what we need to do here is we need to take these two areas because it's going to give us access to the uh, port that's here. So the push here needs to be constant and strong. Yep, one division is already going. We do have enough troops here to alternate. No, this is going to be really bloody for us. Uh, but not much can be done about it. We just need to There is Yeah, there's no chance to attack from another angle. So we'll focus our push on these two um, On these two areas and what I can do here Is I can actually Divide these orders and send you guys in here and send you guys in here so that we have more available manpower for these attacks because we're gonna need every man that we can throw at them. Uh, okay, so how's this fight going? Okay, one of them has already been eliminated. Yeah, there we go, they're gone. 
So then just move back here and we're gonna prepare for the invasion of Papua. I think we're gonna invade Hollandia though we're at the war with everyone here. So or we could go with Port Moresby, but I think yeah, that's beyond our reach, so Hollandia will be it. And we'll probably need reinforcements. Okay, I think this area is safe and secure. And where's the other guys? There's not enough. One, two, three, four. Oh no, there is. It's seven divisions. We got seven divisions. So I could send you over here to this port. I'm gonna vacate Sulawesi and send you to Papua when we can. Which will actually be very soon. Yeah, you will take that island in eight days, which is our cue. Okay, that mechanized division is actually leaving. So I think we can, in the meantime, just attack here. Give the pressure up, and once that mechanized division leaves, we will immediately launch an attack. Okay, so you can attack. Send you guys over yonder. And because this is much nicer ratio. Okay, three dockyards, which means more Asashiha refits. Not the Fubuki, just the Asashios. So go. We need you at top notch quality. Okay, so what's going on in Soviet Union? Uh, we are working heavily on this, which God knows might might not happen for us, I'm not entirely sure. What the hell is going on here? You guys are doing absolutely nothing. Okay, let's send you guys over here. Let's secure this, you guys can advance over here. Can go over there. Yeah, we'll need you to help with this attack. What is this? It's a mechanized division. Okay, you guys are not doing anything here. So let me send you over there. Because you are in a place where you're doing stuff that's not important. You can go here, you can go here, and you can... Actually no, you're the 11th army, so you're gonna go over here. That's way more important. And you guys will go. And the rest of you will go there. Go. Okay, the tanks here failed. So let's throw in the tanks. And they reinforced. But if we can take this area, it's gonna be very good for us. And that is looking much likelier. We 
Jesus Christ, they are just unloading at us. Everything they have. Well, two can play this game. Come on, come on. High voltage grid, amazing. That lowers our power needs by 5%. Yeah, by 5%. Now anything that we can get down here, or are we done? We're working on that, we're done here. We finished construction five. Uh, civilian works free. All of the housing happening. I mean, there are really nice things here, but I think that you are actually going to go to doctrines. And you're going to start working on. The defense. Entrenchment. Yeah, we're gonna go with this. The reason why I decided that we're gonna go with pre part defense is that while these ones are good, they are mostly a really purely focused on defense. While these ones actually give us soft attack, hard attack, and can be thus used in offense as well. So if we research you, that's 139 days. So let's do that first of all, and we're gonna save our new army experience to something else oh you're f oh okay so we caught the british again this time it's just their battleships and carriers nothing else and they're retreating can we sink them please they have nothing Let me sink a submarine over here. I need to keep an eye on this one. I really need to keep the pressure up. Okay, once these guys fail, we send you in. Because this is the this is the price. It's not this. That one is good, but the price is this. And this is where the ports are, or where the port is. This is what we need. No, I screwed up. God damn it. Uh, I'm dumb. Okay, so the moment we get this area, we get extra avenue of attack and that port is gonna fall let me just throw you in there we don't give you any resting time okay so what's going on here okay we lost uh, we lost nothing they lost two battleships the HMS Resolution and HMS Rodney. Admiral John Cunningham. Well, they will remember that. And did we now detach the additional destroyers? Okay, that are we fitting? Yes, we did. Okay, now we did. Wait, what? Oh, okay, so we sank two battleships, but before that we actually sank two fleet carriers and one battleship. So overall casualties are four battleships, no, three battleships and two carriers. Nice, that's even better.
Okay, we will keep the pressure on and we will be victorious. I really do hope they will not reinforce over here. You guys got fuel. Okay, but we're doing great, yeah. Okay, the moment we repel this attack, we take the port. And this entire area falls to us. Come on, get more men in there. You support this immediately and we start winning. Awesome. So a breakthrough here. A bloody one. Uh, a goddamn bloody one. But a breakthrough nonetheless. Okay. So you're going over there and you can already go to here and prepare an invasion of Hollandia. Which is going to be your next goal. This is all ours now. Oh, there's another of the Ellis Island here that we haven't seen. Okay, well that's fine. We'll need just one division for that. Come on guys, get in there and attack. We do have enough reserves here to actually break you guys. Even if you do not realize it yet. Yeah, we got them. Okay, another military factory. We do have a little bit of Spare capacity for cannons. So let me put the next two factories on mountain artillery. And with that one being one. And you guys moving in the right directions. Let us revisit this. Where we should have also... I would have been more of an eye on that, but I think it's fine. I don't understand why you guys are not moving. So one of you is gonna go over here. Yeah, without fuel, it's not pleasant. Okay, you can get in here. Okay, so this encirclement is done. We'll advance from Kizil and let me see the supply situation. I forgot where the next supply hub is. Over here! It is a little way over here. So no. No, not not that. No encirclement, just take it. That is super important. Okay, Finland was liberated. Almost completely. Uh, the part of Onyega needs to be retaken. Um, but let us see in the situation of Soviet Union now. 86% of its capitulation lost 6.19 million men. And they still have a ton of factories, but they have less factories than we do, significantly less than we do. And while they have a lot of division, they have, yeah, they're gonna break soon. I think they might be running. I mean, look at that, they're not stopping us in advancing at all. Uh, you can go over here. You guys gonna go here. Wait. 
you go there. No, actually, you go there. Together with your pal, go there. And you will take this area. And you guys will take these two. You're retreating, you're moving. Good. Yeah, again, this is just just a little bit of territory. But there might be some resources in here. They're not. We've already taken what was there, but... Yeah, I think... There's nothing else here. Doesn't seem so. Okay, but we'll push. Push and make sure it happens. Okay, and this port is falling and with that our entire strategy there's a huge river here between us and Dhaka okay improved anti-tank upgrade is done so let's get the second one improved anti-tank upgrade 2 uh, the APCR ammunition is going to be done soon. That is really good news. Improve the zero. The Divine Wind. Let's expand the Truck Wagoon. Caravan Islands get naval bases and entire, which is great because now we own them actually. So our main base in the South Pacific is the Truck Wagoon. And we should expand the naval base facilities there, as well as build fortifications to protect the land itself. So this also means this area is going to fall to us, and this one, because we are creating a much better options here for ourselves. And let me see. I mean, Sinjar and Ryodan are just awful in the jungle. But are we, what if we created a specialized one? Which would have command engineers? We need the help of jungle, right? Yeah. Instead of the signal company, you would get the commando battalion, and instead of the engineers here, they would get the jungle support company. Then their jungle attack would be. Improved by a significant margin. And I might like that. If we even give them the mechanized, what would that do? More attack, more breakthrough, more defense. So let's actually do that. Let me create a special. Special division here, which is going to be like a jungle. Wait, what kind of symbol were you using? Just the regular. No. Um, okay, thanks with the support of artillery. So we'll use that. But this one. Okay, let's duplicate you and we're gonna call you. With that, K Sincharyodan. I don't know if that makes sense. I'll have to check that. But K Sincharyodan, you are a duplicate. And if I actually switch to you out and give you the close support. And gave you a sword gun instead of you. How did that affect the jungle? It affected it a bit, but brave crew goes up, soft attack goes up significantly. Yeah, I don't think I like those changes. So let's just give you commander battalion and the jungle support company 
and I'll give you the new symbol. Authorized. Actually, lower the performance on the jungle, but okay, let's let's go like this. And let's see if we could change you guys to that. Because planes, planes, planes. God damn it. <laughs> Just as we are entering the area where I realized that we could do this, we no longer need it. <laughs> God damn it. Oh well, never mind then. Uh, so with Marines. Oh snap! Jesus, this is heavily defended. Okay, can you guys... Naval support this one and bombard the hell out of them. Maybe that's gonna be enough. <gasps> we got the Yamatos! Oh, baby, we got the Yamatos. Unfortunately, they will probably immediately need to go to refit, yep. So, but it's gonna be a very short one. So what can we do with the Yamatos? Oh, I cannot believe it. We got the Yamatos, finally, after all this time. So you can get a better director and a better anti-air director. You can get a better damage control. And that's it, right? Yeah, it's just upgrading. Yep. Okay. So this is going to be super cheap. That's 783. So this is a 1945 Yamato class a refit. A very small one, but still increases light attack, heavy attack. And anti-air and reliability the one that's the one I'm most interested in so let's do that and send you guys back to the port to fix those two things it's gonna take what 47 days to complete that is absolutely fine we waited this long we can wait a little bit longer and I can set you up as a new squadron over here of the subs and we're actually going to increase their area of operations, like so. Okay, so did we take the port? Not yet, but we're almost there. And we did we just gain another Montinder company? Okay, stuff is happening over here, which is fine. And in the north, where we are doing things manually. Okay, looking good. Looking good. You are attacking, you are advancing. You failed at this attack again. Very recently, I can see that you still don't have much organization. You are advancing, and we want. Here's the supply hub, right? Yep. So you attack, and I have no idea what you are. Oh, I know what you're doing. You're not supposed to be here at all. Housing one is finished. Well, in its own, housing one does very little. It allows housing two, which starts giving us a bonus to recruitable population. And that is what we're after. Uh, are we still? No. But total manpower will increase to by about 300,000. And if we increase this bracket to 18 to 40, 
we'll get more penalties uh, but we'll get a huge boost in available manpower so you guys are advancing you guys are advancing so this one is going to be eliminated okay I'm gonna end this episode the moment we take this port. Uh, are the Yamatos refitting or not? No, they're not. Did I forget about that? I don't think so. Something is a little sus here, why didn't they refit? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, now we're refitting them. They will be done in early February. Awesome. And we finished the APCR ammunition which is lovely can that be used with all of our tanks that is a question that we need to answer now so thank it you cannot it would be great if you could but you cannot if we catch you Cannon. No, you're using a cannon, so. Unfortunately, Tanket just cannot. But we are doing refits on Tankets, aren't we? No, we are not, but we will. Okay, the Type 99 R Kenny. Okay, you also cannot. What about you? Also cannot, damn, okay. I didn't remember the ammunition near you. You don't have a... No, but this is a 75mm one, so... An armament slot. Okay, Chihe. No, so we just reset something that we cannot use at all. It's funny, none of our tanks can actually use this. So that was a complete waste of our time, for now anyway. But the heat ammunition might be better. Okay, let's reset that one before we move on to better and nicer things. So did our naval invasion fail? It did. Okay, so what we're gonna do here? We'll do a little change of plans. And we'll take this island by force. That's gonna take a little bit of time. I mean, we always take it by force. That's not something that, you know, <laughs> would be new. Uh, but we'll take it by brute force. Okay. And we are here. We are here. We're defending. Is this connected to... Oh, it is. It is even connected to the railway. Amazing. Okay, we get another division in here. Please reinforce. Yep. You managed to reinforce just in time. Yeah, we can move pretty much everyone there. And with the doctrine that we just finished done, it was the advanced tech operations. I'm not entirely sure, but we're gonna continue with the Grand Battle Fleet, which just gives us so much. Naval chance increased by 1%, retreat 
lowered by 1%. Naval AA attack 3%, capital ship attack and armor increased by 3 and 2%, screen attack and defense by 3 and 2%, positioning 1%, penetration of torpedoes plus 1%, and organization for destroyers, all cruisers, and all battleships and battle cruisers also increased. Nice. Yeah, it will be fine. You cannot attack Dhaka, but you can attack here, which is kind of fun. And they are attacking us. Okay, despite the heavy load of everything. Okay, let me just delete these borders. And let me see if this would be enough. It should be. We need to get the bank of the river, because that's going to be a great defensive position. And we got... Uh, we got a bunch of new divisions, six of them actually, which will be great for the Southern Army, which can actually incorporate them completely. So when we attack Papua, we'll have 13 divisions instead of only seven. What are you guys missing? Special Forces cap. Okay, fair enough. Can we get more tanks, transport trucks, and mountain artillery. Okay, let's put you on low priority and just have you do that. Okay, so with that secure, uh, with our operations continuing over here, with the preparation for Papua ongoing, I think we can safe to say things are going great for us so thank you very much for joining me and i'll see you in the next episode where we continue this helpful towards the capitulation of soviet union 86 percent they would just not give up will they well i mean look at how much we've taken though already so they will have to eventually